Hello, my name is Dr. Rudolf Kotula. This is my partner, Dr. Sasan Golani. We are the two infectious disease physicians affiliated with the Methodist Physicians Clinic in Omaha, Nebraska. Your personal physician may be able to treat uh, most of your infections. At times, your doctor may refer you to an infectious disease specialist. Reason being that the treatment that he outlined may not be the desired one, or there could be other symptoms as persistent fevers. We will uh, work uh, closely with your primary care physician to try and determine what may be causing your problem, we are, and also we'll work to determine what tests may be necessary. Uh, once we've uh, determined what's causing your problem, uh, then we can uh, think about treatment, which usually involves uh, antibiotics. We can give the antibiotics either orally, and uh, sometimes they need to be given intravenously. Uh, if uh, you do need an infusion, we do have an infusion center available here in the clinic and that can help reduce your chances of having to be hospitalized. We may ask you to come and follow up with us to make sure that your problem is resolving or if your problem has resolved to make sure uh, to take the necessary steps to prevent it from recurring. We are a new clinic. We started this clinic in summer of 2009 and since we came to this area we have developed a full inpatient and outpatient consult service. We have opened a clinic for international travelers. We also have uh, an infusion center and we also provide non-invasive wound care. The infusion services that we provide start in the hospital. We discuss the infusion services with the patient and um, we helped him to transition from the inpatient setting to the outpatient setting. In a very safe outpatient setting, the patient almost feels like, like at home. He comes to our infusion center at his leisure. The time is essentially dictated by, by the patient. We monitor the patients daily. We are here essentially all the time. Dr. Golami has clinic in the morning, I have clinic in the afternoon. So the patients are very well taken care of by us and by the, by the nursing personnel. And we can also make sure that the outcome is very favorable and the patient is satisfied with our service. When a patient comes to our infusion center, we have a large comfortable chairs uh, that are basically lounge chairs where the patient uh, can sit and either watch TV, read a book. The nurse will come and uh, start their infusion. If they have any wounds, uh, the wounds can be dressed at the same time. If they haven't seen a physician, the physician can uh, come and uh, do their follow-up with the patient, uh, all without the patient ever having to leave the chair, without having to make several trips uh, to infusion center, then the wound care, then to the physician's office. We can make sure that everything is done all at the same time. In our Clinic for International Travelers, uh, every traveler uh, receives a computer-generated packet, uh, including um, including um, health hazards and uh, food and water precautions and other helpful information to keep the travel healthy abroad. Our software is linked to the CDC. We get daily updates from the CDC, so we really know the information to the last minute what, what's going on in the world. We have the expertise, we have the medications, including vaccinations, to provide sufficient information and other, other measures to keep the traveler healthy abroad. Additionally, uh, the convenience of our service is it's a physician-directed service, but we can see you before and God forbid you get sick, we will see you after. So that's, that's something I would like to emphasize, that we can provide um, medical care to returning travelers who may get sick during their travel abroad. I was born in the uh, Slovak Republic, which, as you know, is a small country in uh, Eastern Europe. It used to be Czechoslovakia, that most people know it under still this name. I graduated from the Communist uh, University Faculty of Medicine, and I did my residency at the University of Minnesota and my fellowship at the University of Iowa. And uh, I was born in Iran. I left uh, Iran when I was 12, and I've lived in uh, different countries, including Germany and Canada. It was in Canada where I did my undergraduate work. I did my medical school in Netherlands Antilles. 
and I did my residency and fellowship in Kansas City and I came here to work. What is the most I like about my job is the fact that I can cure certain medical conditions. I can diagnose them, which at times is challenging. I can come up with a treatment, but I can also follow and witness the successful cure of an infectious process, which makes me very happy and satisfies my intellectual curiosity. Well, I've always been interested in microbes and how something so small can make somebody so sick. Uh, so that's why I did a ba my bachelor's in microbiology uh, in undergraduate. And uh, when I became a physician, I was really interested in infectious disease because it's the, uh, the one field where uh, you don't uh, do any procedures, but basically you're required to think about what's going on with the patient and uh, try and uh, come up and, with a plan and put the puzzle together as to what's causing the patient's problem and how can I help uh, treat them. Our specialty or subspecialty is very cognitive. We essentially sell our brain. We don't do any, any procedures, as Dr. Golami mentioned. It's many times detective work. It takes time, it's very time consuming, there is a lot of information we have to collect, but if you do it well, the patient may feel well and you feel very good about what you did for the patient. We are located uh, at the Methodist Physicians Clinic in Regency in Omaha, Nebraska, and uh, the screen should include the necessary information for our contact.